Hello, so today we're going to do a video on how to determine how much acetylene you have in a uh, gas bottle. So here we've got a, a scale. The first thing you need to do is determine the uh, weight of the bottles. So on this bottle here, you can see it's 70 and a half pounds. And on this bottle here, it's very hard to read. But uh, you'll have to take my word for it, but there is an 8.0 marked on it. So we weigh that bottle, it ends up being uh, 8.5 pounds. So we know we have a half a pound of acetylene in that bottle. So uh, then we take a look at this chart. I got this one from uh, Matheson Gas, but the uh, important thing there is that it's 0 0.068 pounds per cubic foot at uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's uh, basically room temperature. So uh, I'll just mount the camera here on the stand. We'll switch the bottles here and weigh the other one. So remember it's 0.5 pounds for this bottle. And then I'm not weighing it with the cap because they wouldn't have had the cap with the bottle when they initially weighed it. You'll want to take a look underneath of it and make sure that the bottom's not full of garbage. Because you don't want to weigh that. So the scale's at zero right now. Put this bottle up here and it's uh, 72.9 pounds. So we just leave that up there for now. So this one has uh, 2.4 pounds of gas in it. So I've done some calculations here. Let's take the uh, camera off the scale again, or off the stand. So for a large bottle, you can see that uh, I did subtraction 2.4 pounds dividing by the uh, 0 0.068 gives me 35.29 cubic feet. Then for the uh, small tank, which is an MC tank, it's got 7.35 cubic feet. So you can look on this table here to see how much gas a bottle might take. So the little guy is an MC tank at 10 cubic feet. So I got shorted on that when I traded it in. It wasn't completely full. And then the other tank is, uh, to refresh my memory where we're at here. So it's uh, about 35 cubic feet. I don't know exactly what size that tank is, but I suspect it's probably the uh, AC-75. So, uh, so maybe not, that might be the next size up. But anyway, we're running low on acetylene on that bottle as well. I got that one at the dump. And uh, I'm a bit of a hoarder of acetylene tanks. I've got a few other ones. And I only use it when it's absolutely necessary to do so. It's a bit hard to get without getting a lease. Otherwise you get little B tanks and they go down pretty quick. So uh, hopefully you find this informative. You may not have a scale that can measure down to this uh, level, but if you're going to buy a tank off somebody in a parking lot, you can always bring your scale with you and weigh it and do the math to know how much it should have inside of it. So thanks for watching.